Hello my sunshines, rainbows, orchids and moonlights and welcome to another pick a card reading with me Ali Jeffcott, your psychic medium, tarot consultant and pagan priestess. So what we're going to be doing today is what is it that you need to know? I'm sure that's what I was, you need to know this, you need to know this and I've got two decks which are brand new that we're going to look at. Um, so I've just got back from the UK tarot conference and this is where the new decks are coming in. What I've done is I have created a vlog, yes, a video blog, a vlog, and I'm going to be putting it out on the weekend. So if you want to see into my personal life a little bit more, see what I got up to on the UK Tarot Conference, it is going to be on this channel and I'm pretty sure you guys will enjoy it and you get to see the depth of me a little bit more than perhaps you see behind the screen because I know a lot of you want to know more about me because you're like, Ali's our reader, what? I want to hear more about her and one day I will sit here and I'll tell you all about my life about how I got hit by a car how they told me I'll never work never walk never have kids and I've overcome all those adversities but that's for another day we'll start off with the vlog okay so you can go and have a look at that it's coming out at the weekend now the other thing I need to tell you is on my other channel so I have two channels now on YouTube but the second channel is a podcast channel okay so we run a podcast that's available on all podcast sites and it's at mystical moonday musings so like mystic mystic love tarot but mystical moonday monday with an extra eye for the moon because we put out every monday which is the day of the moon and musings because it's mine and my uh, co-host friend and colleague joe sees musings it's what we go through for the week and it's a free reading but the reason why i'm also telling you this is because you can win a reading with me and Josie this week but you've got to get there by sunday so all you need to do is go to at mr called Day musings on youtube go and hit subscribe go and write a number between one and a hundred that you are psychically drawn to okay and once you've done that we will let you know the answer on Monday. So you just need to subscribe to Mystical Moonday Musings on YouTube. But like I said, it is available on all the other podcast sites. The other bit of news, I just want to show you this. This was, I got this the other day, um, and it was my great grandma's. It was my great grandma's. So it's from the 1800s, and it's just so pretty. It's got a big chip on it, but it's so pretty. Um, but the clasp is broken, so it keeps falling off, which is just driving me bonkers. Uh, but it did come London with me, and it did have a good time. Um, and some of the people that I met there did some beautiful readings with it, um, which was just absolutely adorable. So, because it's my great grand, you know, lots of love there. Okay. So what you need to know this, and it's going to be about you and your person or the person that you're asking about, okay? So it doesn't have to always be a lover. It could be a friendship. It could be a situationship anything along those lines deck number one and deck number two brand new decks so this one here is the quen tarot and it isn't out yet oh it's on kickstarter this is the original kickstarter i got it in the auction i treated myself but i just absolutely loved the artwork um it's so so beautiful so that is your deck number one quen tarot and it's by du quanville or Estrella, Estrella, like the star in Portuguese, Estrella. Um, and deck number two is by Andrea Aste. Andrea Aste. So, take your deck. Deck number one, deck number two for all you tarot deckies that you love. On the vlog as well, number one. On the vlog as well, you'll see some of my other purchases. I, I did buy quite a few decks for you guys. So, let's get cracking. We're going to work on the mutual energy between you all and we're just going to ask what you need to know. Let's say you need to know this. And I'm just going to connect with the person that you're thinking of. So everybody watching deck number one, can you just think of your person? So, as you know, I'm Cloud Audience, so I start to get quite a few songs coming through my right ear as we go into your reading. And the first thing I got was Rhiannon by Fleetwood Mac, which is obviously a goddess. Now, you know that I'm a pagan priestess. I work with goddess. I'm a priestess for the Morrigan, um, but all the other goddesses come and join me for magic and things like that. So Rhiannon is a goddess of love. She is from the Mabinogi, a Welsh, uh, from the Welsh books, um, but she's coming through with the song Rhiannon by Fleetwood Mac. So you have this very love energy coming in. But also this very mythical, mystical energy that comes with her also. She's also a goddess uh, associated with horses. So if any of you have any links with your person and with regard to horses, that will be your message directly for you. The other thing that I got was, um, I want to say it was Say You Won't Let Go by James Arthur. So this is like going back in time to 
X Factor, I think it was on England. I don't know. I can't say I'm a James Arthur fan. I don't know where he's gone over the last few years, but it's Say You Won't Let Go. And it talks about I want to love you until you're grey and old. So right off the bat, you have this goddess coming in, goddess of love, goddess of horses, goddess of um, the ancient Celtic ways. And you also have this, We're gonna. I'm going to love you until I'm grey and old. So I absolutely love that. Um, and even if you're asking about friendship, you know, it's saying that you have this more divine connection between the two of you. Um, but you also have this love connection. There's a very strong bond between you guys. So let's see how this deck reads. What is it that you guys watching need to know? Ace of Swords. Let's start off with three and see where we end up. They're still a bit sticky because they are, like I said, they are brand new. Okay, we six of pence for you guys wondering what they are. I will show you them in a sec. Let's start off, like I said, start off with three. Okay, ace of swords over here, six of pence over here, and the knight of cups. Oh, and they're so pretty. They're such a pretty deck. So right off the bat we have this new beginning that is happening between you guys. Now the six of pentacles normally talks about like this balancing it talks about money it talks about giving and receiving okay so what we're seeing over here is there is a change happening within your relationship that it is coming more becoming more balanced it's becoming more of a gift and receive energy and i'm doing this because the spirit coming into my energy like a wave okay so water always signifies your emotions and when we start waving through the energy the water's rising and it's coming back down so we're waving through the cycle that you guys have been in now the other thing with the six of pentacles to me this is always a circumstantial card okay it is one of my third party cards so you might find that there is some form of escapism happening with you and your person so this could be they are are in difficult situations and communicating um, of like this escapism behavior with you. Sometimes it can be the more codependency side of things like uh, the alcohol, the drugs, the escapism on game, that's my game station, escapism on game station. There is this form of escapism happening with you and your person. And you might find with that that you have a massive pull towards one another and a pull away. So it's like this magnet energy happening between you guys. You push together and then you can repel one another. But at this moment in time, you are really pushing. Your energy is pushing together and it is about to get magnified. Okay, it's magnifying. Now with the Ace of Swords coming up over here, this is a new beginning happening between you guys and it is cutting away the bullshit. Okay, so it looks like there is going to be communication between the two of you on where you stand and where things are going to be heading with you guys, focusing very much on a more balanced relationship and a new beginning. There's also communicate as they're talking about communication, it could be communication uh, through any internet sources. So it could be Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, social medias, that is also coming through. Um, anytime we have this swords energy, it is more ether, um, more internet based communication happening. So that is likely to be going on. So rather than potentially meeting up in person at the moment, it is this more um, ethereal, more, not ethereal, what's the weird? internet-based communication. So you're talking to one another, they're going to be expressing their wounds to you, Spirit are saying to me as well, they're going to be talking about stuff that they've been through and why they have acted the way they have, okay? So not making excuses for themselves, but a little bit making excuses for themselves and they'll say, I'm sorry about my shitty behaviour before, um, I wasn't feeling myself because of blah de blah de blah or this happened to me in the past and it's left me feeling blah de blah de blah so just expect that level of communication to come in with you guys as well now last card over here knight of cups this is them making this headway towards you and expressing their emotions so communication is definitely opening up for you Okay, definitely opening up for you. Like I said, they might be feeling a little bit sorry for themselves in the way that they communicate. They might say to you, you are the love of their life and they can't possibly live without you and they don't know why they're an idiot before, but that expression of communication is coming in. Now with the astrological astrological side of things and coming up to Samhain, um, we are kind of going into the shadow side of the lover's energy at this point in time. So your person is really gonna, the person you're asking about is really gonna be looking at that shadow side and really realizing where they've gone wrong, how they could have made things better and expressing that to you. So it's really, really positive cards coming up over here for you guys. I really like that. 
So what do you need to know? I'm going to stop at three. And if you need me for private readings, I am doing the same ret day return on voice note readings at the moment. They're only £10 a question. So just drop me a message on Instagram, Facebook or email. Um, all details are all the you can get in touch with me in the comments. OK, I'll write it in the comments for you. Overall, what do you need to know? Just a summary of it all. Keeping balanced on it all. Circumstances are changing. They are cutting away from the bullshit from the past and really going to be opening up the lines of communication with you. They might be talking about ways that they have been hurt, but they are starting to see a way forward and they're going to communicate that way forward towards you with love. There are deep emotions rooted here um, and they are embracing that shadow side of themselves at this point in time. And that is debt number one. So like I said, if you need me for same day return on voice note readings, just drop me a message. Um, and anytime you need vo video readings and things like that, that's all there. For, to win a free reading, go over to Mystical Moon Day Musings on YouTube. Follow the instructions on that um, to win the reading. And make sure you subscribe over there and subscribe over here. And I feel that that is a wrap. That's debt number one. Okay, guys. Shooting over to deck number two now. Hi, hi, hi. If you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on and missed the announcement at the start, let me just recap that I'm back from London from the Tarot Conference. There's a vlog, yesterday's vlog coming out this weekend and there's also a chance to win a free reading on my sister channel, my sister channel, not my sister's channel, um, my other channel, at Mystical Moon Day Musing. So go over there and hit subscribe and follow the comments. Follow the instructions. Right, brand new deck. What do you need to know about you and your person? You need to know this. What do you need to know? Oh, brand new deck. So deck number one, I only pulled three cards for. Deck number two, I'm going to actually pull five. I am. Oh, you got a six of pence as well. It's following us around. So some of you guys from deck number one might also be watching deck number two. And if you are, this is your indicator that the energy of that card is still very much dominant in your life. Right, your person, your person is a stickler. They are quite a difficult person. Um, they are stubborn. They find it hard to let you, uh, let me read you the card, sorry. Emperor, six of swords on the cute deck. Six of swords, six of pants, seven of cups, nine of wands. Okay, for those of you that read tarot. So they are a very stubborn person. We're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel, but this is going to be a more masculine energy. OK, so they are the adventurer. They are set in their own ways. They are trying to be traveling and doing what it is that they like to do and really focusing on themselves. And at the moment, you're going to feel like you've been put on the sideline and you're not sure where you stand. You're going to be feeling that you're not getting much communication. You're going to feel that they have took a step back from the situation. And you lot here are going to feel like you've got whiplash because before it was this beautiful serendipity storm of just loving kindness and sexual energy. And then it's just out of nowhere, just gone a little bit stum. And you're like, what happens next? What's going on? I am so confused. Your person is extremely focused on the life, on their life. And with the Six of Swords coming next to it, it is saying for a lot of you guys, there is this wanting to travel. Now, it doesn't always mean physical travel. It can be traveling away from situations. It could be that they are taking a step back from the situation to work out what it is that they want, or they are physically traveling at this point in time and can't give you the communication that you want at the moment. And I know that is specific so for some people that I read for about the physical traveling. Um, you know who you are. I, I'm not going to say your name because obviously data protection and confidentiality, but you know, out of you guys watching, you know who that is, okay? Physical communication has been limited because of physical travel or traveling away from situations because they are very focused on themselves. Selfish, a little bit, stubborn, a lot. Um, difficult? Yes. Brick wall? Yes. Allowing you in a little bit? Yes. Then putting the brick wall up? Yes. So you are going to feel like you've been caught in a bit of a whiplash situation, a bit of a head rush. Now, the other thing that's coming up over here with the Six of Pentacles, to me, this is always a circumstantial card, okay? So circumstances might be having a bit of an effect on this. Circumstances could be the travelling, but it could also be other situations where there is an impact of other people or 
current situations okay so they could be with someone else it could be family it could be friends it could be alcohol drugs difficulties with all of that side of things now the other way of this card is it's talking about getting the balance right of giving and receiving so you might feel that you have been giving a lot to your person you have been texting them a lot and you haven't been hearing much back okay um or the other way around but it feels more to be on you guys that you are feeling a little bit i haven't heard much i don't really know what is going on so this energy over here um is talking about a disharmony in your relationship with these two cards beforehand okay so it's like you've been giving so much and not getting much in return and again the reason why is because your person is very focused on themselves at this moment in time We've got the seven of cups and we've got the nine of wands as well. So they are going through the state of confusion as they're working out what they want. And with the nine of wands next to it as well, they are feeling a little bit battered and bruised. Like they've been, um, goodness, I haven't seen one of them since one of my past lives. Um, did you ever see? It makes me think of uh, American Horror Story. It, and I think it was the one about the asylum and they put their heads in this kind of block and they would like couldn't move their heads. I think it was that one. Um, so then they are very forward focused they're not looking to the left about the, the past so much not looking to the right about the future they are staying in the here and now trying to work out what they want over the situation and there is a sense of confusion that is following that so they are in this sense of oh my god what are we doing where am i going what happens now and that's why they have pulled away from you okay also like i said potentially physical travel but emotional travel happening um They've been very caught up in their ways and working out what they want. I also feel they've let a few people down rather than just you guys. There does feel to be this heavy burden on their shoulders, trying to make people happy a lot of the time and failing and making themselves happy. So they are going through this bit of soul searching energy as well, Spirit are saying to me. Now, I'm just going to get a song for you because I like to, you know, I'm Claire Audient and I love it when they give me songs and they're getting somewhere over the rainbow. OK, and that really does speak of your person's energy at the moment. They are looking at what is going on in their life. They are feeling a bit sad. They are feeling a bit discontented, Spirit saying, not just with regard to love, but also with regard to work, with regard to family. And like I said, they feel like they've got the weight of the world on their shoulders. Spirit just put, put weight on my shoulders. I feel like they've got the weight of the world on their shoulders and it is leaving them feeling very confused about life. And that is what is happening with them. Now, let's have a look on you and them resurging. Is there a resurgence? between you guys okay so just these two we've got the mirror in the mirror and we've also got the seven of wands so with this card there is this kind of your person going to be sticking up for themselves and their actions but the mirror in the mirror shows this reflection of one another so you guys equally are probably feeling exactly the same that you don't know where you're going that you are just having this little bit of downtime um, from the connection or from life, trying to work out what it is that you want. You are reflecting one another. This speaks of a more divine connection with that mirroring energy. So you could be twin flames, high vibrational soulmates, but that echoing energy, what happens in this happens in the next, as above, so below, okay? Really feeling that energy being magnified between you guys. Your overall outcome as a collective is that there is a chance for resurgence here, but it might go dormant for a little while. Well, so if you want to look at that in individual readings and find out what the future is of you and your person, you can just give me a shout. Um, that I do same day return on voice note readings. Um, if you want me, that's just on Instagram and Facebook, Missed It Love Tarot, you will find me. I've got a little blue tick on Instagram. It is me, even though my hair was blonde when I took the picture, I probably need to do another one. Um, check out the vlog at the weekend, go and hit subscribe at Mystical Moonday Musings and write your number to win a chance to win a reading with me and Jose. Um, and that's it. That is it for deck number two. I love you all. Thanks for bearing me. Enjoy the vlog over the weekend. Um, I really hope you like it. My first ever vlog. I really hope you guys like it. And there's some really neat people that come on to it as well. Um, some people that can really give you that advice and guidance that perhaps you, you might feel that you need at this point in time. Some little cool apps, um, books, etc, etc. So go and have a look. Um, it's out on the weekend. I'll probably put it out on Saturday. Maybe Friday. Friday, Saturday. It will be out. So I love you all. Drop me a message if you need me. Ciao, Bellas.